A new subsidiary of the state-run rail operator CoRail could open as early as this week. The creation of the affiliate is what sparked the nation's longest ever rail strike last month, with unionized workers accusing CoRail and the government of attempting to privatize rail services. Our Kwon Soa has this report. CoRail's new subsidiary is a step closer to launch. The state-run rail operator says the affiliate, which will operate KTX bullet trains departing from Suso, a station in southern Seoul, is beginning to take shape and may open as early as this week. CoRail received a business license from the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport at the end of last month and has set office at its headquarters in Daejeon. Fifty employees, mainly from CoRail, are expected to be dispatched within this week. The workforce will gradually expand to over 400 people. In an effort to minimize costs, CoRail plans to hire externally, except for core employees such as engineers and crew members. Once construction of the railway is completed by the end of next year, the Transport Ministry expects an average of nearly 55,000 travelers a day to use the line in 2016. CoRail says that as Suso will be the second KTX departure station in the capital, the internal competition between it and Seoul Station will generate new demand, improve efficiency and drive bigger profits. However, the labor union still believes CoRail's move will eventually open the door towards the privatization of the company. Unionized workers filed a lawsuit last week demanding the government withdraw its license for the subsidiary. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.